Hello everyone and welcome again to our Gainful series. Today we will be covering the week from 31st December of last year till 6th of January this year. Okay, so let's get started with the session right away. Here are your first five questions. Let me move out. Okay, ICC Women Cricketer and ODI Player of the Year Award who has won it. Which political party in Bangladesh has triumphed in recently held national elections? Allahabad Bank has tied up with what? for a bank assurance partnership, which central Asian country has decided to promote 2019 as the year of investment in the backdrop of wider businesses with India and name the highest wicket taker of 2018 across all format for men. Here are your answers. I hope uh, you know you knew them. Yeah, Indian vice captain Smriti Mandhana, she is in splendid form. So she, she is the woman cricketer of the year as well as woman ODI player of the year award. All right, then if you will see here, Alyssa Haley of Australia, T20 player of the year. Susie Beats is the woman ODI team captain of the year. Sophie Eccleston of England, ICC's woman uh, emerging player of the year award. So here the two most important award if you will say, uh, it's for Smriti Mandhana, woman cricketer of the year and ODI player of the year. The alliance dominated by PM Sheikh Hasina, Awami League team close to India won 287 out of 298 seat for which the results have been declared till that day. EVMs have been used for the first time in the election there. Okay, we, we know they are close to India, a lot of border dispute etc were also settled. Allahabad Bank has tied up with SBI life insurance for the bank assurance deal. Uzbekistan is the country, yeah, is President Shavkat Mir Ziyoyev in his annual address to parliament has announced 2019 as the year of active investment and social development okay because they had some uh, proposed investment from india uh, india indian pacer basically jasmeet uh, jaspreet bumra finished 2018 as the highest wicket taker across all formats he took 78 wicket he was ahead of rabada who took 77 wicket interesting Trivia here, the try of Jaspeet Bumra, Mohammed Shami and Ishan Sarma had picked up 131 wickets. Who would have thought of, you know, Indian Pacers taking so many wickets just, just five years back. Yeah, now uh, in 2018 and they have broken 34 year old record which was previously held by the West Indian greats. Yeah, Garner, Holding and Marshall. Okay, chalo. let's move forward. Next five questions. Okay, who has become the new Chief Information Commissioner of India? Who has been facilitated with National Nritya Shiromani Award? How many Indian origin women scientists are included in the list of 60 superstar of STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Maths list published by Australian government? The government of Madhya Pradesh has decided to replace the existing Anand Vibhag Department of Happiness with what? Uh, in which state Union Petroleum and Natural Gas Minister Dharmin Pradhan has launched Ujjwala Sanitary Napkins Initiative. Let's look at the answers now. So that's the appointment of Sudhir Bharga has come as the new Chief Information Officer. US based Kathak exponent Anindita Niyogi Anam will be honored with National Rit Shirumani Award okay, for promoting different dance forms across the world and if you just look at this. Your the Sangeet Natak Academy recognizes eight different forms of classical dance in India, which are Bharat Natyam, Kathak, Kuchipudi, Kathak Kali, Manipuri, Mohini Attam, Odissi, and Satriya. Three Indian origin women scientists made it to the list of 60 superstar of STEM. Yeah, list announced by the Australian government. The new Madhya Pradesh government has headed by Congress Kamal Nath has said that it is going to create Adhyatmik, the spiritual, not just happiness. They want to take it a level ahead and Adhyatmik Vivag. So. Uh, your BJP is into renaming, they are into now recreating. You, you can already see the trend, what will happen when the government change uh, changes. The Ujjwala Sanitary Napkin Initiative uh, saying it will go a long way in making Odisha's 2.2.5 crore women empowered and self-reliant. So that has happened in Odisha. Let's look at the next five questions. What amount has the sports ministry reserved for funding of athletes for 2020 Olympic preparation in crore? The union government has extended housing credit link subsidy scheme for middle income group MIG till what? The 6th Yunhai 2 satellite which China has launched will serve in the field of what? The appellate authority of advance ruling AAAR of which state has upheld the levy of GST on services passed down by one office branch to the other centers. 
Larry Roberts was a pioneer in the field of what? So let's look at the answers now. We are talking about 100 crore rupees been you know uh, as a funding for target Olympic podium scheme tops. I hope you remember that. Yeah, that's not tomato, onion, potato. This is for targeting our Olympic podium. Now, uh, Rajivadhan Singh Rathore, he's our sports minister. Yeah, Union uh, Youth and Sports Minister. Now, look at this. Olympic 2020 will be held in Japan. I'm quite sure you know the next one. Yeah, uh, your uh, 24 will happen where, 28 will happen where. Can you tell me who are the current bidders, you know, uh, for 2032? Yeah, let, let's see. Put, down, put that down in the comment. The credit linked subsidy scheme, CLSS for MIG scheme has been extended by the Ministry of Housing and Urban Minister Hardeep Singh Puri by another 12 months to 31st March 2020. MIG beneficiaries touch 1 lakh by March 2019. That's, that's huge. Okay, a long March 2D rocket carrying 6 Yunhai 2 satellite and a test communication satellite blast off from the Zhiquan Satellite Launch Center in the Northwest China. The 6 atmospheric environmental research satellite will be used to study atmospheric environment, monitor space environment, prevent and reduce disaster and conduct scientific experiments. Okay, now according to Karnataka, Triple AR in-house service functions such as human resource and payroll, if carried out from center in one state for offices in other state, will attract GST. Okay, so this is their ruling. One one place here basically will be seen as the supplier of the services to other state, and hence it will attract GST. Larry Roberts, who was the program manager for ARP ARPA Net, precursor to the internet, died at the age of 81. He was one of the early architects of the internet. Okay, just just remember him. Try these. DRDO day is uh, observed when who is appointed as the new chairman of Indian Railway Board? Who is appointment? Okay, so we have a lot of appointment here. Secretary of Competition Commission of India, who is the new MDNC of Axis Bank and who is sworn in as the Chief Justice of Telangana High Court. Let's look at the answers here. Yeah, DRDO was established in 1958. It's the you know DRDO day is celebrated on 1st of January. The central government has appointed VK Yadav as the chairman of Indian Railway Board now. Yeah, the Competition Commission of India has appointed Pramod Kumar Singh as its secretary of yeah the CCI Com Competition Commission has headquarters in New Delhi. After the retirement of Shikha Sharma on 31st December, Amitabh Chaudhary has become the new MD and CEO of the bank. Yeah, we are talking about the Axis Bank here. So this is important, I will say. Yeah, one one of the major banks. So Amitabh Chaudhary is the name you should remember now. Telangana High Court has come into being with Justice TBN Radha Krishnan was sworn in as Chief Justice Telangana Anandra Governor ESL Narasimhan administered the oath. You, I, I hope you know. So this was already there here, you know, in Hyderabad, but now this will be totally dedicated to Telangana, and then we have in Amravati for your Andhra Pradesh, right? So that that's the 25th High Court. Yeah, there I think the Chief Justice there in the High Court there is still uh, acting only. Okay, chalo, try these now. The union government has decided to extend AFSPA in the state of which northeast state government has generated the highest total revenue in the last 30 years. Dash has established an export promotion cell to create a sustainable ecosystem for MSMEs. Who is the author of the book Early India, Indians, the story of our ancestors and where we came from? RBI has allowed Dash to restart opening account for customers. Okay, let's look at the answers quickly. We are talking about Nagaland where it has been extended for another six months. Okay, the AFSPA, I, I hope you know that's Armed Forces Special Power Act. You can search and destroy that. That's the power they have. No, no, no questioning. It's absolute authority given to our military. The Arunachal Pradesh government has created a record of total revenue generation of 1598.49 crore in 2017. Uh, 18, reaching a new high in last 30 years. Arunachal Pradesh, Itanagar Governor, Brigadier, B.D. Mishra and Pema Khandu. MSME's ministry cell is expected to help integration of MSME's into global value chain, evaluation of readiness of MSME's to export their product and services. That, that's, uh, you know, the step taken by the ministry. Tony Joseph's early Indian, the story of our ancestors and where we came for looks at how and when modern human first arrived in India, what evidence they left, who their descendants are today, 
who else followed them as migrants to this land, how and when farming started, the world largest civilization of its time was built, when and why this civilization declined and what happened next. So it should be an interesting book. After a long wait of six months, Reserve Bank of India has allowed Paytm Payment Bank to restart opening account for its customer. Yeah, they, they did some hanky-panky with the KYC norm. Yeah, uh, and uh, they were suspended there. Chalo, let's get to the next one. Which state government has decided to make Parivar Pahchan Patra for each family in the state? The committee headed by IIT Hyderabad Chairman BVR Mohan Reddy has advised AICT to stop setting up of new colleges from when? Who has authored Mr. Who has honored Mr. Siddha Rameshwar Siddharam Humanabade, food delivery boy who has acted as a savior in helping fire victims of tragic fire accident at ESIC hospital? Which country took over the presidency of European Union? USA and Dash quit from UNESCO officially. Okay, I think that was announced long time back. Yeah, chalo. Haryana, uh, CM uh, Manohar Lal Khattar has said, Parivar Pahjan Patra will be made for each family. Yeah, we are now we are talking about setting up of new colleges from 2020. That they want it to stop. Okay, so that was the committee headed by the uh, IIT Hyderabad chairman BVM Mohan Rao Reddy. So like it's already too much. They want them to now stop. Sri Santosh Kumar Gangwar, uh, you know, Minister of State Labor and Employment honored Mr. Siddha Rameshwar, Siddha Ram, Human Bade, food delivery boy who acted as a savior in helping fire victim. Tragic fire accident ESC hospital. He actually went and saved almost 10 percent without caring about his life. He got one lakh rupees for that. Romania will be in charge for the next six months as European Union faces series of tricky tests, most notably Brexit, European uh, Parliament election and wrangling over the next budget. Romania capital, Bucharest, currencies, Romanian Liu. Okay, this is interesting. They will be heading you. Their currency, they have not yet, you know, gone to Euro. So how many states are there in Euro and how many of them are not using Euro? Put that also down in the comment section. The United States and Israel officially quit the UN Education, Scientific and Cultural Agency as the stroke of midnight, the culmination of process triggered more than a year ago amid concerns that the organization fosters anti-Israel bias. Okay, so that is it for this slide. Let's move ahead. Okay, the RBI has allowed restructuring of debt for MSMEs up to how many crore? Indian American KP George has been sown in as as the Fort Bend County judge in which which place I were talking about. Uh, the PM Ujula Yojana has touched the mark of how many crore connection. The Union Government on Jan 2nd, 2019 has approved the merger of Dena Bank and Vijaya Bank with which bank? Who was Ramakant Achrekar? I hope everyone knows this. Chal, let's look at the answer. We are talking about 25 crore rupees up to there. They will restructure for MSME, one-time restructuring. American, you know, Indian American KP George, he is now become Fort Bend County judge in Texas. Yeah, Indian in international stage, told you it's important. Vice President Venkaya Naidu handed over the sixth crore connection to the beneficiary of Prime Minister Ujjwala Yojana. That's, that's really a good initiative, make houses free of smoke, uh, which with the merger of Bank of Baroda will become the country's third largest bank after State Bank of India and ICICI Bank. Okay, Ramakant Vital Acharekar was the Indian cricket coach from Mumbai. He died at the age of 86. Tachin Tendulkar, we all know, he also produced the likes of Vinod Kamli, Praveen Amre, Ajit Agarkar among the professional cricketers. Let's move ahead. Jair Bolsonaro is the president of which country? Which bank has appointed Pankaj Sharma as its chief operation officer? Veteran Kannad actor C. H. Lokanath was famous actor from which film industry? In the month of December, the UPI transaction for the first time touched the mark of how many crore? Legend of Honor is the highest order of merit for military and civil merit of which country? Okay, let's look at the answers quickly. We are talking about the Brazilian president, when Jair Bolsonaro. RBL Bank has appointed Pankaj Sarma as its chief operating officer. Veteran Kannad actor C. H. Lokanath. So he is the veteran Kannad actor, passed away in the private hospital in Bangalore. Okay, the value of the monthly transaction made uni, u, using UPI cross rupees 1 lakh crore mark for the first time in December 2018. Okay, as per the data of NPCI. 
Finally, the player of France football team which won the World Cup la last year have been awarded Legion of Honor in the new US Honor List is the highest French order of merit for military and civil merit. Established in 1802 by Napoleon Bonaparte and retained by all the divergent government reg regimes later holding the power in France. Yeah, so that's the highest award football World Cup winners yeah, deserves. Let's try. These, which state has announced the Krishi Krishak Bondhu scheme for the welfare of farmer? Bondhu itself says, you know, looks like West Bengal. Who took over the chairman of Ordnance Factory Board? Who is awarded with the Indian National Science Academy Teacher Award for 2018? Who is nominated as the Executive Chairman of National Legal Services Authority, NALSA? And with which sport are Divyansh, Panwar and Nupur Patil associated? Okay, let's look at the answers. The West Bengal government, I think I was right. Two welfare initiative for farmers, both initiative which are part of Krishi Krishak Bondhu scheme. The first of the two initiative will provide rupees 2 lakh to the family of the deceased farmer. Under the second initiative, farmer would get 2,500 twice a year for growing a single crop on one acre of land. Kolkata is the capital governor, Keshri Tripathi and CM Mamta Banerjee. Saurav Kumar took over as director general of Ordnance Factory and the chairman of Ordnance Factory board in Kolkata. Professor of Geology School of the Swami Ramanand Tirath Mar Marathwada University, STRMMU, K. Vijay Kumar has been awarded prestigious Indian Science Academy INSA Teacher Award for the year 2018 for his outstanding research and contribution in the field of teaching. He was also felicitated by National Geoscience of the Union Government and Best Teacher Award by STRMMU. Wonderful. President Ramnath Kovin nominated Justice A.K. Sikri as the Executive Chairman of NALSA. National Legal Service Authority of India was formed on 5th of December 1995 under the Authority of Legal Services Authority Act 1987. Okay, so these guys are shooters, Divyan Singh Panwar and you know the other uh, one Nupur Patil, they are both the shooters. Okay, name the 12 year old Indian origin student who has backed two gold medals at the World Memory Championship held in Hong Kong. Which state has launched Adharrat? Which state has introduced CES for cow sheds? And who inaugurated 106th session of Indian Science Congress? Finally, which country has become the first to send its lunar mission to the far side of the moon? Okay, let's look at the answers here. Okay, it's Dhruv Manoj, 12 year old Indian origin student from Singapore who has won names and faces and random world discipline, beating 56 other contestants in the kid category. Okay, with a view to provide information related to facilities pro being provided through Aadhaar card and to resolve problem related to updating Aadhaar profile, Haryana government has launched Aadhaar Rath. Okay, then to ensure the welfare of cows, it is Uttar Pradesh cabinet which has given not to the proposal of a levy of 0.5% cow welfare cess on the excise and other departments. PM Narendra Modi inaugurated 106th session of Indian Science Congress at lovely professional university in Fagwada. He stated that Jai Jawan, Jai Kisan, Jai Vigyan and Jai Anusandhan is the slogan for New India, Future India, Science and Technology. That's the theme. China's Chang E spacecraft created history as the rover successfully touched down in the crater on the far side of the moon. What is the far side? We just see only one side, the other side, the back side of the moon. That's where they have attempted to land, where others, they, nobody had done a planned landing there before. Some, some crash etc. had happened. Or after the useful life, they, they used to crash it there. But yeah, this time they have intentionally wanted to land it there. Let's try these. According to the union government, how much amount has the National Company Law Tribunal helped in settlement in last two years? Approximately lakh crores. Virat Kohli became the fastest to have scored 19,000 run in international cricket. Who held this record prior to him? Divyendu Palit was what, according to the union government, how many states and union territories have reached 100% electrification under Sobhagya Yojana? Syndicate Bank has tied up with which, say, uh, bank assurance partner? Let's try these now. So, NCLT has helped in the settlement of around 2.02 lakh crore and deposed 4,452 cases at pre-admission stage within two years. We are talking about 80,000 crores which the creditors have collected in just 66 cases by the tribunal and 70,000 crore is expected in this financial year. 
Virat Kohli surpassed Sachin Tendulkar, took 432 innings. Virat Kohli in just 399 innings to get to 19,000 international runs. Literator and Sahitya Academy Award D. He was Divendu Palethi, passed away. He was 79, received Bankim Purushkar in 1990 for his novel Dhiu. And another novel, Anubhav, fetched him the coveted Sahitya Academy Award of, of eight years later. The government declared 25 states in unitary as having achieved 100% electrifi household electrification, 2.39 crore household connected to the electricity. It was achieved under Pradhan Mantri Sahaj Bijli Har Yojana launched in September 2017. Now only 10.48 lakh household are left to be electrified in just four states as Assam, Rajasthan, Meghalaya and Chhattisgarh. 100% electrification, please note the definition also. Yeah, it means at least 10% household in a village but does not imply restricted. That's common sense. But if, uh, you know, a village, even out of 110 household uh, have the electricity connection, that's electrified. Syndicate Bank and SBI Life Insurance, so another, another one by the Life Insurance, SBI Life Insurance, they have signed a bank assurance pact to offer a comprehensive financial planning solution to its customer. 3,000 branches of syndicate banks spread across the country would offer SBI Life's diverse range of protection, wealth creation and saving insurance product to its customer. Okay, let's move to the next. Which company has surpassed ICICI Prudential Mutual Fund to become largest asset management company in India? Through which social media platform has Bharti AXA, Bharti AXA Life Insurance started delivering policies and renewable premium receipts to customers? CS Dharm Adhikari, Dharm Adhikari, who died at the age of 91, was what? Who will chair the RBI's Committee of Economic and Financial Sustainability of MSMEs? Uh, where is the Veer Savarkar International Airport located? Let's look at the answers here. HDF. So, HDFC has passed, surpassed the ICICI Prudential Mutual Fund to become country's largest asset management company after a gap of over two years. Private insurance, insurers, Bharti AXA Life Insurance, a joint venture between Bharti Enterprises and French Insurance AXA. They will start giving you the receipt through WhatsApp. In a landmark ruling during emergency, Justice Dharmadhikari, yeah, what an apt name for a justice has held that apart from constitutional rights, the right to life is a natural and a human right and therefore even during emergency a citizen could approach the high court. He was a recipient of many awards including Padma Shri, Padma Bhushan and also eminent Gandhian freedom fighter, luminary and social activist. So, but if they are asked is more important justice. A day after releasing the guidelines on restructuring of advances to MSMEs, the Reserve Bank of India on Wednesday set up eight member expert committee under former SEB chairman UK Sinha to propose long term solution to the economic and financial sustainability of the sector. Veer Savarkar International Airport is in Port Blair, has been declared as an authorized immigration check post for entry and exit into India with valid tra travel document for all classes of passengers. This is interesting. Chalo, let's try these. With regard to the right of children to free and compulsory education amendment bill 2018, no student can be detained up to the which class under the current provision of the act. Which countries uh, assume the charge of UN Security Council as non-permanent member? Which With which institute have Indian seven oil firms signed an agreement to set up center of excellence in oil, gas and energy? The World Braille Day is observed on what of January? Who became the first female amputee to climb the highest peak of Antarctica? Inter interesting questions. So here we have no students can be detained up to the class 8. That's uh, you know as per the right of children to free and comp compulsory education amendment bill 2018. Belgium, Dominican Republic, Germany, Indonesia and South Africa. Okay, so these five have begun to assume responsibility as non-permanent member of UN Security Council. Okay, these five will hold for two year term while Bolivia, Ethiopia, Kazakhstan, Netherlands and Sweden have just left the Security Council. Okay, the here the India's seven blue chip companies including IOC and ONGC have signed an agreement with IIT Bombay to set up center of excellence in oil, gas and energy blue chip are generally sell high quality widely accepted products and services. They you know even they are known to weather the recession etc. World Braille Day is observed in order to raise awareness of the importance of Braille as a mean of communication in full realization of the human rights for blind and partially sighted people. In November 2018, General Assembly decided to proclaim 4 January as the World Braille Day in recognition that promoting human rights and fundamental freedom in context of access to written language is a critical prerequisite to the full realization of human rights for blind 
and partially sighted people. Louis Braille invented the Braille system. Arunima Sena, the first female amputee to have conquered Mount Everest, created yet another record as she became the world's first woman amputee to climb highest peak of Antarctica, Mount Vinson. The national level volleyball player, you remember, she was pushed from a running train by some robbers in 2011 while she was fighting them. Okay, try these. The Indian Society for Remote Sensing has conferred the National Geospatial Award for Excellence on Home. Dash Bank and Small Business FinCredit have joined hands to provide credit to micro and small medium enterprises. Which city is organizing the 10-day Indian Panorama Film Festival? Vistas has stopped the Asia Competitive Institute ACI Ease of Doing Business Index. Uh, Wahingbam Lam Gamba, who has been selected by Indian Council for Child Welfare for National Bravely Award belongs to which state? Let's look at the state answers here. So it's IIT Professor Jayant Kumar Ghosh for his contribution towards the development of geospatial science and application. Yeah, that's for Indian Society of Remote Sensing has conferred the National Geospatial Award on him. ICICI Bank has signed, you know, in the small business fin credit will join to provide loans up to 1 crore to these small and medium enterprises. The 10 day long Indian Panorama Film Festival began at Shreveport Auditorium in New Delhi. Okay, Andhra Pradesh has emerged on top of Asia Competitive Institute ACI Singapore's 2018 Ease of Doing Business Index, ABC ranking for economies of 21 states of India while Maharashtra and Delhi came in at second and third place respectively. Wahingbam Lam Gamba, a 15 year old class 9 student from remote village of the district Bishanpur, sorry, is Bishnupur. Bishnupur Manipur has been selected as Indian Council for Child Welfare for receiving National Bravely Award. He will be receiving, okay, that's you know, on 23rd, 19, uh, 23rd Jan 2019. He had saved two and half year old cousin brother from drowning in pond. Okay, that's the bravest thing that happened. Okay, uh, sure. let's hope some of the more deserved were not overlooked. Let's uh, answer these. The government of India has launched a global environment facility assisted project, namely Green AG in partnership with whom? Where will the fourth international conference on pharmaceutical and medical device sector be organized? Which state government has approved 11 project to resurrect Saraswati River? Who took over as the chairman of LIC? and who has initiated the Swaksh Sarvekshan 2019. Okay, so the partnership is in collaboration with Food and Agriculture Organization, yeah, in, in high conservation value landscape of five states, namely Madhya Pradesh, Mizoram, Odisha, Rajasthan and Uttarakhand. Okay, so this is uh, your launched a global environmental uh, facility. Okay, the Department of Pharmaceutical Ministry of Chemical and Fertilizer along with FIKI is organizing the fourth international conference on pharmaceutical and medical device sector that's that will be held in Bangalore from 18th to 19th of February. Haryana government wants to resurrect the Saraswati river right. Heman Bhargava managing director of LIC took additional charges chairman LIC India on Wednesday. He has replaced VK Sharma who retired on 31st January 2018. Bhargava took over as MD of LIC last February. Life Insurance Corporation headquarters Mumbai. We all know they are the you know lender for all the sick units. They they kind of absorb the losses or all the you know clean up for the government. They they do. Housing and Urban Affairs Minister Hadeep Singh Puri kicked off Swachh Sarvekshan 2019, the fourth edition of the annual cleanliness survey of the urban India in New Delhi. The survey will cover 40 crore people across over 4,000 towns and cities. Yeah, and it will be paperless and record time of just 28 days. Let's see who comes out on top. Okay, let's look at these. Who will head the task force to look into suicide of Jawahar Navodaya Vidyalaya student? Which union minister has honored the outstanding young entrepreneurs with National Entrepreneurship Award? Indian Oil Corporation will commission its first liquefied nat natural gas import terminal where how many projects has PM Modi inaugurated during his visit to Imphal and FSSI, FSSAI has asked food businesses to comply with the new packaging norms by which date? Okay, here are our answer. Dr. Jitin Nagpal, a renowned psychiatrist, he will be looking at why students are committing 
you know, suicide in all the 630 functional Jawahar Navodaya Vidyalayas. Commerce Minister Suresh Prabhu has been honored, in the, uh, has honored outstanding young entrepreneurs with National Entrepreneurship Award in New Delhi. Okay, so the LNG import terminal is being set up at Ennore in Tamil Nadu. PM Narendra Modi has inaugurated eight projects during his one hour visit to Manipur on, on a rampage, he is, you know, before the election. FSI has given the date till July 1st and what, what is the, you know, major change here? The regulation say, packaging regulation that bars the use of recycled plastic and newspaper to wrap food articles. Okay, let's move ahead. Market regulator SEBI has allowed Dash services in the commodity derivative market which would enable participation of institutional investors including mutual fund in the segment. Which airline has been crowned 2018 most punctual ca carrier? The National Green Tribunal has imposed a fine of 100 crore on which state for failing to curb illegal mining? The North Quail River Dam project is located in which state? Which Indian businessman became the first to be declared a Fugitive Economic Offender under Fugitive Economic Offender Act? Let's look at the answers here. So your answer is the custodial service. So, you know, custodial service in the commodity derivative market. Now these mutual fund etc. they can your hold these uh, physical commodities also as well as, you know, uh, can, can invest in it. So that was not uh, permitted earlier. Okay. So they will be permitted to add commodity as an asset client and provide physical delivery of both the securities and the commodities. Now, Panama Scopa airline, SA has been crowned 2018 most punctual carrier in the global survey. Okay, let's look at the top three Copa Airlines, Panama, Air Baltic, Latvia and Hong Kong Airlines, Hong Kong. Top three airport known for their, you know, on time flights are Tokyo's Haneda, Atlanta, US and Singapore. Okay, let's move to the next. NGT has imposed a fine of 100 crore on the Meghalayan government for its failure to curb illegal coal mining in the state. That's, that's, you know. We know that, you know, there are at least 15 miners trapped in 374 illegal coal mine in Lumthari village of East Jaintia Hill district of Meghalaya since December 13. All the effort to pump the water out of the flooded mine have been in vain. Uh, Supreme Court also, you know, they, they were very harsh. They, they kind of gave them their peace of mind. PM Modi laid down foundation stone for the revival of North Coil Mandal Dam project. Just remember this, this Coil and Mandal, they are the one. Kanhar Sone pipeline irrigation scheme and strengthening of the various irrigation system and lining work. So that's there in your Jharkhand. Okay, the special court in Mumbai has declared liquor baron Vijay Malia a fugitive economic offender, making him first businessman to be charged under the new anti fugitive law. Let's try these. Which RRB are amalgamated into one entity recently who has represented Ramnath Goenka Excellence in Journalism Award for outstanding work done in 2017. Dash and Stray Equipment Finance has entered into an agreement for financing the MSMEs and agriculture sector. Which country has joined the club of three nations after testing its own mother of all bombs? What is the rank of India as per the Global Status Report 2018 of the Renewable Energy Policy Network for 21st century? Let's look at the answers here. We are talking, you know, here the three RRBs include Punjab Grameen Bank, Malwa Grameen Bank and Satlaj Grameen Bank. They will become just one now. Home Minister Rajnath Singh presented award to 29 winners in 18 category. That's your, you know, award for journalism, Ramnath Goenka Excellence in Journalism Award. Yeah, so many winners, 18 categories. Union Bank of India would leverage its low cost loan with Stray to enable purchase of equipment and vehicles in the seamless manner, United Bank MD and CEO is Ashok Kumar Pradhan. You know, he hailed uh, agreement as a savior for the MSME unit, starved of low cost fund to compete globally and upscale themselves. MSMEs, they, they are, you know, it all signs are there on the wall that they will be the next biggest contributor to all our NPAs. China has developed a massive bomb said to be country's answer to the US built mother of all bombs, the most powerful non-nuclear bomb. It is dubbed as the Chinese version of mother of all bomb due to its huge destructive potential that is claimed to be only second to the nuclear weapons. To match the US bomb weapons, uh, Russia developed the father of all bombs which is both bigger and thermobaric. Thermobaric is some you know type of explosive that uses oxygen from the surrounding air to generate high temperature explosion. In practice, blast web typically produced by such a weapon is of significantly longer duration and that produced by conventional condensed explosive. So, 
yeah, you heard learned a lot about explosive well as well so china has also joined your you know russia and us as per the global status report renewable energy policy network for 21st century india ranked fifth in the renewable power capacity and fourth if hydropowers are not included as of the end of year 2017 let's try these now who inaugurated the 27th edition of new delhi world book fair at pragati maidan which district of arunachal pradesh has achieved 100% electrification under saubhagya scheme the polavaram irrigation project is located in which state which state has announced interest free loans up to 3 lakh for women self help groups and who has inaugurated a new office of federation of indian export organization in ahmedabad let's look at the answers here 19 guest of honor it was inaugurated by Union Resource Development Prakash Javedkar okay the theme here was book for readers with special needs in Arunachal Pradesh East Siang district has achieved 100% electrification under your saubhagya scheme Andhra Pradesh water resource minister Devi Neni Uma Maheshwar Rao has received central board of irrigation and power award for better planning and construction of Polavaram irrigation project so that's there in Andhra Pradesh Odisha chief minister Navin Patnaik on Saturday announced interest free loan up to 3 lakh for women self help group in the state okay so that's odisha for us union minister in commerce industry and civil aviation minister suresh prabhu has inaugurated new office of f i e o in ahmedabad let's look at the answers now oh, sorry the next set of questions which state will set up buddhist university rani the gold medal winner in the senior national judo championship is serving as the head constable in which state Who is the winner of the Pro Kabaddi League for season six? Name the youngest goal scorer in I League, and which country has clinched Hopman Cup 2019? Let's look at the answers here. We are talking about Tripura setting up that Buddhist university. The lady constable here, the you know the best judoka from the championship is from Himachal Pradesh. Bengaluru Bulls, uh, you know, has defeated Gujarat Fortune Giants in Pro Kabaddi season six. That's their maiden trophy. Rohit Dhanu is an Indian footballer who currently plays in forward in the Indian Arrows. He has beaten his fellow teammate Jitendra Singh record of being the youngest ever goal scorer in the top division of Indian football. Good signs for Indian football. Young guys doing well. Roger Federer won the Hopman Cup for the record third time after Switzerland beat Germany in an enthralling final of the mixed teams tournament in Perth, Australia. Belinda Benthick was his partner in the tournament. It was Switzerland's fourth title overall. only behind usa let's look at these now west state government has decided to give 30 maruti swift desire car to the poor youth from brahmin community so appeasement of all the 9 day international kite festival is celebrated where the recently which country has approved entry money laundering bill to ease foreign trade airport authority of india on friday signed mous Uh, with society for applied microwave electronic engineering and research that samir okay my name very close spelling for joint research program in which field and dinu randive is associated in with which field andhra pradesh government is giving that 30 swift desire to the poor youth uh, brahmins nine day kite festival was started at sabarmati river front ahmedabad gujarat iran has been trying to implement standard <coughs> set by the financial action task force an intergovernment organization that underpins fight against money laundering and terrorist financing in the field of communication navigation and surveillance that's you know this is uh, the cns yeah ai aai and samir and Autono autonomous research and development institute under meti have entered into an overarching mou that will provide a platform for collaborative research for both organization to work so that's communication navigation surveillance veteran journalist dinu randive so he is a journalist has been conferred with the lifetime achievement award by the mantralay and vidhi mandal vartahar sangh an association of journalists covering maharashtra legislature and secretariat let's uh, try these five now where will the center for classical language for malayalam be set up name the mobile app launched by north central railway for prayagraj city during kumbh mela according to the finance minister of india how much amount has the country saved in last 28 months with the help of aadhar the union government has notified a dash member high level committee for implementation of clause 6 of assam accord what is the height of the national flag 
hoisted at the Secunderabad railway station in fit. Okay. So, let us look at uh, the answers here. We are talking about this Malayalam University in Tirur. Okay. So, uh, more than 5 years after Malayalam was declared a classical language, Indian government issued its not for setting up center for classical language at Thunshat Ezu Tacham Malayalam University in Tirur. The North Central Railway NCR has launched a mobile application to help people navigate through Prayagraj city. During Kumbh Mela starting from January 15, Public Relationship Officer NCR Amit Malviya said, Rail Kumbh Me Seva mobile app will also provide information regarding Mela special train that will be run during the period. Mr. Jetli has said, 90,000 crore rupee have been saved by the use of Aadhaar till March last year and several duplicate fake and non-existent beneficiary have been eliminated. He started stated that according to the World Bank Digital Dividend Report, India can save 77,000 crore per year by using Aadhaar. The nine-member committee comprising uh, eminent Assamese person from different field is headed by former bureaucrat MP Bez Barua. Okay, so, he, he is the one. The committee will examine effectiveness of action since 1985 to implement Clause 6 of Assam Accord. The clause envisaged that appropriate constitutional, legislative and administrative safeguards should be provided to protect, preserve and promote the cultural, social, linguistic identity and heritage of people of Assam. Why is this important? Because of the, you know, the bill the government is currently proposing about the new uh, immigration laws, right? Sikandrabad railway station became the first railway station under South Central Railway to hoist gigantic tricolor national flag on a hundred feet tall pole in its main entrance rail minister Piyush Koy. With that we come to an end yeah, of our today's session. I, I, I hope you have learned something. I will again see you very soon with the next week's uh, gainful. Okay, So, keep keep learning, keep keep reading, keep revising. I will see you again very soon.